Hello and welcome to Robot Framework Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about the implicit weight and explicit weight in Robot Framework Selenium Library. Now, Robot Framework Selenium Library provides you with the keywords that you can utilize to implement implicit weight or explicit weight in your test automation scripts in the Robot Framework. Now, before we go ahead and understand what implicit weight is and what explicit weight is and what are the differences between these two type of weight let's first understand what are weights in selenium now the weights in selenium are the commands that in robot framework library will be available to you in the form of the keywords and these keywords or the commands are helpful in the web automation whenever there is a web element on the web page that you are automating is taking quite a long time to load all right so for example here is the page so there are a couple of web elements on this page right so uh, first name is one of the text box this is one of the web element that you can interact with 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 your automation script last name email address um, your job role which is the drop down so these are some of the web elements that are present on this page now when you load this page manually right so it might be possible that some of the web elements load pretty fast but some take a bit of time to load and these weight commands that are available in robot framework or selenium library will help you to pause the script execution for the desired amount of time before it throws element not found exception all right so that's the whole purpose of weight so for example on this particular page uh, this country drop down takes a bit of time to load all other web elements are visible but this country uh, drop down takes some time and it's not visible within you know like five seconds then what you can do is you can specify the weight command for this particular drop down and uh, specify the timeout as seven seconds eight seconds or ten seconds and your script will halt and wait for this particular web element to be visible before you get an exception that element is not found on the page so that's the whole purpose of using the weights and what the weights are or why do you need to use weight commands in selenium automation now coming back to the implicit versus explicit weight right so both implicit and explicit weights are the dynamic weights okay so there are difference between imp implicit and explicit weight but both fall into the category of dynamic weight and before understanding the differences between implicit weight and explicit weight let's understand what are the dynamic weight now say consider a situation uh, on this particular salesforce developer page right you have a web element um say for example this email address right and it takes five seconds to load or two seconds to load or two seconds to appear on the page right it's visible in two seconds and you have specified the timeout in your um script as 20 seconds now what dynamic weight does is if this particular email web element is visible in two seconds um then the script won't wait until the timeout which is 20 seconds that you have specified so if it is visible in two seconds the script execution will proceed after uh, the element is visible right so that is what the dynamic weights are and both implicit and explicit weight are the dynamic weight so it doesn't matter what the timeout you have specified the uh, as soon as the web element appears your script execution will progress further and implicit and explicit weight are the dynamic weight now we have understood what are weights and what are the dynamic weight and implicit and explicit weight both are the dynamic weight now let's understand what exactly is implicit weight and explicit weight and what are the differences between these two weights if they are both 
uh, categorized as dynamic weight, right? So implicit weight, uh, as you can see on my slide, implicit weight tells the web driver maximum wait time when searching for elements before throwing no such element exception, right? So implicit weight um, tells uh, the web driver that you can specify the maximum time to be 10 seconds, 5 seconds, 20 seconds, whatever time you want to specify for the web element that you are searching on the web page. So for example, the sign up page, you can specify the implicit weight as 20 seconds and that, is, that 20 second is the timeout that the script will wait to find out any web element on the web page. If the script is able to find the web element in one second, it will progress to the next step. If it is not able to find the web element for 20 seconds, only then it will throw an exception element not found, right? So that's what this first point, uh, no such element exception about implicit weight tells. Now, when it comes to explicit weight, so explicit weight tells the web driver to halt the execution until a particular condition is met or the maximum time has passed. Now, if you look closely to the both, you know, like implicit weight and explicit weight first point, it's very similar. The only difference in both the points is that here, implicit weight, it will be very clear in the second point, implicit weight is global, right? However, explicit weight is applicable to only specific web element. Now, when we um, look at both these points, that's where the difference comes for the implicit weight and explicit weight. Now, when you define the implicit weight, you define implicit weight at once, say 20 seconds, and then that implicit weight is applicable to all the web elements on in your script. So, for example, in your um, sign up script, you have um, to enter the data for first name, last name, email, and you have steps to fill in the data for all these fields, right? And you specify implicit weight as 20 seconds. So what that implicit weight will do is it's applicable for all the web elements or all the lines of course that you have written for uh, these web elements on this page, right? But when it comes to explicit weight, explicit weight is specific to the particular web element that you specify. So for example, email is the field that takes a bit longer, say, 10 seconds to load in explicit weight you can specify the explicit weight time for this specific field and it won't be applicable to all other fields on this page that's what the difference is so which is explained in the second point so implicit weight is global right it is applicable to all the web elements in the script so in the script if you specify implicit weight at uh, it is global and it's applicable to all the um, web elements that are in the script. Now explicit weight is applicable only to those web elements which are specified by the user. So there are separate commands for implicit and explicit weight. So with explicit weight you have to specify to which particular web element this particular weight that you are specifying is applicable, right? With implicit weight it is global so you just have define it once in the script and it's applicable to all the web elements. So it depends where you are defining implicit um, uh, weight, uh, it will be applicable accordingly. The third point says, because implicit weight applies to all web elements, you, you do not need to specify expected conditions on the element to be located, right? Now, because implicit weight is global, it's applicable to all, all the web elements, so you do not need to specify specific conditions or the expected conditions for particular web element, right? Um, in the explicit weight, it requires the expected conditions to be specified. For example, like wait until element is enabled or element is visible, right? So these are some of the uh, conditions that you have to specify in the explicit weight. So coming back to the Salesforce developers page, uh, say so for example, you are specifying the implicit weight. So implicit weight will by default be applicable to all these web elements that are present, right? So first name, last name, email, role, company, etc. All the web elements until sign me up. Uh, and if you are clicking on login, so 
depends what all web elements are there on this particular page it will be applicable to all now when it comes to the explicit weight you have to specify the particular condition say for example if you are specifying the explicit weight for the role so you have to specify weight until this role is visible or this particular web element role is visible or it's um, enabled right so that's what you need to specify or need to be very specific when you are doing the explicit weight so that's what the third point is all about the in explicit weight so it requ explicit weight requires the expected conditions to be specified because as you know both are dynamic weight so as soon as the web element will be visible it will move to the next script so it it will throw a timeout exception only when it's not able to find web element within that specified time or the timeout that you have specified in the implicit or explicit weight so that's pretty much all about the implicit weight and explicit weight in robot framework selenium library hope you like the tutorial please do share and subscribe and do not forget to press the bell icon for further updates thank you very much for watching